Hey guys, how's it going? Um, welcome back to the channel. As you may know, my name is Ron. So in this video, I wanted to share how it's my last few weeks I've been. Um, I'm actually closing about just over a month now of going to law school. And um, in this video, what I wanted to do is kind of talk about the different things that I've been doing. Um, how it's been like from a previous video I had talked about the different classes I'm taking right now we're taking um, intro to uh, legal analysis I'm also taking um, contracts and torts so I have a full-time job during the day and then I'm coming over here three times a week right now for this semester um, and today's Saturday so it's been tough uh, only because you got to find a way to balance a full-time job with going to school having to leave early um, and then stay up late thereafter just read cases and cases and it's a lot of briefing cases um, I'm finding that having a background in as a paralegal, um, it actually, you know, it's, I'm understanding the concept. I'm understanding how to think like a lawyer, um, all the different elements. So I, I feel that I'm understanding and I'm soaking everything in. The hardest part that I find is actually probably going to be the fact that there's a lot of reading, a lot of reading. And when I say reading, I'm talking about maybe 50 pages, sometimes 30, sometimes 60 something pages. Um, so you never really know and you have to read that by your next class. So it's three times a week. For me, it's Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So between those three classes, I had to figure out my schedule and to determine when I'm going to do Monday's assignments, when I'm going to complete Thursday's assignments, and Saturday's assignments. So, having to balance that, school, family, and work is one of the toughest things. One of the toughest things. Um, you have to really sit down and coordinate and time management is is, is essential uh, it is for me um, so it's been tough also to even go to the gym where you know I was constantly in the gym before now I find I don't find the time I'm tired so those are the different things um, what else what I wanted to talk about was the fact that we're gonna be having a midterm soon um, in the next couple weeks uh, in torts. And one thing that I'm learning is that you have to memorize the rules and the elements. So you have to sit down, record yourself, uh, record each rule, record the elements, because you're gonna to have to know how to apply the rule to the facts whether it's a, you know it's going to possibly be a most likely be a fact pattern that there's going to be different events happening on that one sheet of paper you're going to get and you have to figure out what rules apply to that scenario so if one person did this then they did that and broke into a house and stuff like that then you have to figure out what are the different rules that apply for that scenario? And although you get an outline and you have the bugs, you have to memorize them. Memorizing is what I, it's what I've been told time and time after again. What I did is uh, I grabbed a uh, index card and I began writing the rules behind it. I'm writing the elements. I also got a voice recorder where you can make different um, folders 
inside of the voice recorder and you can say um, you know you can say one for contract one for torts and then you can talk about this, you know talk about the specific uh, rule and then the elements so that's what I've been doing and I'm um, hoping that I have at least the first set of um, uh, rules for this exam that's coming in, in the next couple weeks I hope I have it down which I think I will um, so for those of you who have maybe been considering going to law school should I do it should I not um, I have no regrets actually I've I enjoy it very, very, very much. It, like I said, again, it's time consuming and it's a sacrifice. Um, but you know, at the end of the road, I'm sure it's gonna reap its rewards. And uh, if you have a background in law already, I feel that you will relate and sense that it's, it's not difficult, it's just, managing your time to sit down and read these cases you're supposed to read because you want to make sure that when you go to that class and they call on you that you're prepared to respond and you know not fail by you know stating that you didn't read and you didn't have time to read or whatnot so reading it's, it's essential and I'm finding that memorizing the rules with the elements is also going to be essential. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about um, in my previous video, I mentioned that it took about two weeks or three weeks from the time that I applied uh, with the California State Bar as a law student to receive back the approval. And then I believe they assign you a, um, I'm not sure how they refer to it, but some type of a number, identification number um, to you. So I'm assuming that they requested the transcript from the school, school sent it to them, they received it, they approved it, and then you get to move forward. Uh, some of the benefits of uh, being a law student is I went ahead and I jumped on Amazon Prime six months free trial I think it's like five ninety nine a month uh, so it comes out to like sixty dollars for a year so um, that's nice um, and then you know obviously everything else but I wanted to take a few minutes to share that with you guys um, hanging in there it's, it's going great I really enjoy it uh, just remember for those of you who are currently attending law school um, as you already know, um, just memorizing everything is essential. You know, one of the other things that um, that we were talking about is some people just record themselves on their phone. So that's probably the next thing I'm going to do. That way I can play through Bluetooth. And as you're driving, you just continue to repeat the rules, repeat the elements over and over and over and over again. Um, that helps a lot. I went ahead and I went to Barbary. I Googled Barbary outline and the first link was an outline to, um, actually I downloaded, I selected a Barbary torts outline and then Barbary contracts outline. And for each one of those, there's links. So I was able to click on that. After I clicked on that, I was able to go to Office Depot, my local Office Depot. It cost me about $30. They printed it for me. They put it on a binder with a front and a back cover. And uh, so it cost me 30 bucks. Um, that works out for me. Another thing that I did is I bought Emanuel's outlines. One for contracts, uh, one for torts. It doesn't really matter the, how old it is. I mean, I guess you wouldn't want to get the latest edition, but I got some old ones. I think it was like 10th edition of contracts or something. But you know, it doesn't really change. So I was told by a professor to just buy some older ones. It doesn't matter because it has all of the actual uh, rules and the elements to it. So you can use that to be able to memorize it. Um, 
so I suggest you do that as well. That's that helped out for me a lot. It was so basically 60 bucks, and uh, I was able to um, get those in basically looked like a book. So uh, I'll show you guys how it looks, and um, I think that you guys should do it. It's, it's a good idea. Again, it only cost me thirty dollars off his depot, and. I think that's all I wanted to say right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put more time into this as well because I, I want to share this experience with you guys. And um, you know, I appreciate feedback. If there's certain things you guys want to know. Um, again, I'm still new to all this, so and I'm trying to fit this into my schedule somehow where I can be able to coordinate uh, making these videos, editing them, uploading them. And everything else going to school and uh, everything else so hope you guys enjoy it if you do please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, please hit the like button that'll be nice uh, really helps me out as well so thank you guys very much for your time hope you guys have a beautiful day and to the next video